What's going on guys, it's Alex from Fitment Industries and today we're gonna to be talking to you about Fitment. So one thing that you guys may have noticed is that all of our videos, all the things that we've been trying to show you on Facebook or on our website, is trying to get you to get the perfect Fitment set up on your vehicle. Well, sometimes people just don't understand what Fitment is. We were all there once, not all of us are experts in the wheel Fitment game. So when we get into Fitment, the first thing that we just wanna talk about is the overall basics of a wheel. So when we talk about bolt pattern or hub or the diameter or the width of the wheel, all of these things end up making what fitment ultimately is on your car. And it's also rims and tires. We're simply gonna be talking about today, but we will be talking a little bit about tires as well as we go through this. So if you're looking to get started into getting the perfect fitment on your car, you're gonna to wanna to learn first just about your setup on your car. So what is the bolt pattern that you have? You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get the right bolt pattern just to start off. So once you figure out what your bolt pattern is, you're also gonna to wanna to know, or at least keep in mind of what your hub bore is. So your hub bore is the size of your hub. Your hub would be this centerpiece, the actual inside, not the plastic cap. You'd be able to measure that just using a tool yourself. Usually that is measured in millimeters. So a lot of aftermarket wheels are gonna have a larger hub bore than what your factory vehicle is gonna have. And they do that on purpose. They wanna make sure that those wheels will fit your car. If your aftermarket wheel has a smaller hub bore than what your vehicle allows, you are gonna experience that some things just simply will not fit. So make sure you're keeping an eye on that when you're buying wheels and tires. Another thing that they can come with with hub bore, you can get adapters. So something that if your aftermarket wheel is going to have a larger hub bore than what the vehicle has, you can get adapters to help make sure that those fit nice and snug. Hub bore helps, especially when you get the right sizing to minimize any sort of vibration and just overall drive quality of your aftermarket wheels on your car. So the most important thing you guys probably think is diameter. And we've gotten really accustomed to getting huge wheels on these cars, but something to remember is that if you're looking to modify an older car, you don't just wanna get a huge wide wheel, a tall diameter wheel just because you can. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you keep in mind just how the overall wheel is going to look, and that's where diameter really starts to play a role. So not all wheels really are the 17 inch sizing anymore. A lot of them are coming standard in 18 or even 19 inch sizing, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do something that's what's called sizing up. You can actually take a look on your stock wheels and tires what the actual diameter and width is, and then looking at what your tire aspect ratio is and overall diameter. You can go up a size in a wheel from maybe a 17 to an 18 if you downsize the actual size of your tire to maybe let's say a 235.45 to a 235.35. And that will allow you to actually maintain the same overall diameter of your wheel setup that you had stock to aftermarket wheels and tires. If you continue to upsize, which you definitely can, you're ultimately gonna reach a max and then it's just gonna look like you have rubber bands on your rims and that's just not gonna look good at all. If you're ending up in getting diameter and you're not caring about width, that's bad. Something to make sure that you're keeping in mind is your overall wheel width. So if you're taking a look at upgrading to maybe a nine inch or a nine and a half, that you have the clearance for it. So something that you can do is you can actually measure the space from your tire on your stock vehicle to the nearest potentially protruding object like maybe you have your perches or your suspension components or something like that and see how much space you have to play with. On our website specifically, we take care of all of that for you so you can make sure that you're not gonna have any issues with clearance. But if you wanna double check and make sure that you're doing it right, you can actually go there, you can measure the distance and then multiply that by two because you have to remember that the wheel will be going wider in both directions. So if you have, let's say, an inch of clearing space, you would actually be able to go two inches wider if you really wanna play aggressively. But you're gonna to have to remember or take into consideration like, one eighth to one fourth of variance. You have to think about tires, if the tires are gonna stretch or anything like that. So, and another thing that's really gonna help you is understanding what offset is. So offset is going to be what really makes one of the biggest differences between how a wheel looks and how a wheel is going to perform actually on your car. So there's a couple different things that you can really consider with offset. You have positive offset, negative offset, and zero offset. So starting off, positive offset is gonna be when the face of the wheel extends to the outboard side of the rim. It's gonna tuck the wheel underneath further into the wheel well, and you can actually experience some clearance issues. Negative offset is when the piece, the center piece here is going to be sitting farther back in the actual wheel and it's going to protrude out towards the fender. So when you get closer to zero, you're going to experience usually more lip, you're going to experience uh, potentially clearance issues with your fenders or rolling and things like that. But most people try to go down an offset to give it a more aggressive look. Zero offset is just going to be where you're going to want to sit if you're looking for like a race aftermarket purpose. And that's just going to be directly with your center line, which is 
pretty much just perfect bliss. But something to keep note is that if you go too far into negative offset, you are gonna experience just as many issues as you would if you had positive offset. It's always a range with how you're gonna set up the fitment of your vehicle, and all this stuff makes the difference when you apply your rim and tire into your wheel well, making sure that it fits properly. Fitment is all of those things. It's taking into consideration everything that makes a wheel a wheel, and making sure that it lines up with what you want on the vehicle and what the vehicle will actually allow. Bidding that fitment perfect is the difference between having like a mediocre setup and having an amazing setup because we truly believe that if you have the right setup on your car, you will just fall in love with your car all over again. So that is what Fitment is. It's all of those things. We hope you guys enjoyed. If you have questions on your Fitment, let us know. Shoot us an email. It's Alex Fitment Inc. We'll see you later. Peace. KBC.